Uh, I tend to be the guy who people call when they're having particular problems. Tuning, voicing, something that's not just a normal mechanical problem. Part of it's because of the way we're equipped. Most players compromise and they say, well, I'll live with a throat B flat not being good or an A on the A clarinet for the beginning of Pines of Rome or B flat that doesn't doesn't sound great. Ricardo simply refuses to accept that, which is the reason I, I enjoy working with him so much is he really pushes me to find the best solutions that, that we can. Life is too short for social performances. I have to go for the gold. We are at Morris Shop. We are going to do a little bit of work on one of my clarinets. This is uh, one uh, lovely clarinet that he uh, picked for me that I was able to select. And I have been playing it for about two years. And now is the time that I, I think it needs a little bit of uh, love. It's, uh, it's good, but it feels a little tight and it's not quite as resonant and as even as it was in the past. So we're going to see uh, uh, what we can do about that. Mori, uh, basically I find a little bit of resistance and uh, resistance to open up the sound and a little bit of brightness and a little bit of uh, weird uh, unevenness between D, E, B, E and both right. The upper register any more or just about the same as the lower register? Just about the same, maybe a little bit more in the lower because that, I always uh, find that to be a little bit more sensitive okay. uh, for the sound. But in general, it's good, but there is, uh, I can tell that it's definitely not as warm as it used to. Can you, can you just play C major, just half notes, slowly? D to E again? Yeah, to me, the E is quite unwholesome. Right. Can you do the same now in the second register, the G, A, B? Yeah, and the B becomes a little bright. Can you just da 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 G, A, B? And the B, you sense it wants to get longer as well. Yes. The air, it's yes. as though it's colliding. Absolutely. Okay, so let's see why. Can I have just the upper joint, please, Ricardo? I'm going to use a digital gauge. This is accurate, basically, to... A ten thousandth, which is more than wood can maintain. So we're looking at the bore here, and we're seeing that there's some shrinkage as it comes down. Let's go up to the top. And at the top, it's actually a little small as well. Let's check just the lower joint now. Since we're talking about the area CDE, it's near the middle joint, so it becomes critical where this is. And I notice that uh, huh, cleaning in the tenon. Sorry. <laughs> okay, this is definitely a little tight in here, in the bottom. Okay. Let's just go in a little further. Yeah. So, I think, my friend, that we may have to do a little reaming, but let's start with the C, D, E relationship. To me, my first thought is that the D tone hole, which is what the E is voicing, is a bit of a problem. This is a reamer, as you know, and when I put it in, mm -hmm. move it and get a sense. Yes, it's definitely... You can get a sense that it's not yes. round. So yes. what I'm going to do is I'm going to round this out slightly. Let me just double check the measurement, which I have in my super secret library. And I'll check it in at least two quadrants, and that's within a thousand. So let's just try that and see if we notice some improvement. Better, but I sense it needs still a little more. Yes, but okay. definitely better. It feels much more even in, in the air resistance. Can you try the staccato closer. now? And just see if the staccato is a little more controllable? When there's a tone hole problem, the thing that usually shows at first is staccato is difficult to maintain evenly on that note compared to the notes around it. Better, but still a little... Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, but if we want to turn you into a real man and get you ready for an audition, we have to go a little further. Well, we better get to work. Yeah, there's still yeah. a little... Then I sense that we're going to need a little bit more of the love. The love. So we're going to go in, in the bottom, you can sense the same as yes. well, and it's a little tight. 
Hmm. That's grenadilla wood that's coming out of a place in the bore that we don't want it to be. Let's try that once again. If I save it up, I can make it into a few clarinets. <laughs> I want to work on the lower joint a little bit now okay. because I sense that part of the constraint in the vibration is coming from the lower joint. Okay. It seems like you're working hard. Yeah, now. I have to sort of push it a little more than. Can I have just a lower joint? Yes. Don't try this at home. <laughs> so this is obviously a very special custom-made reamer, and if it works properly in this bore, we should be going all the way to the brass sleeve. So we're short here by basically approaching half an inch. So the bore has definitely shrunk. So what I'm going to do, you can hear, this reamer won't cut if there's nothing to cut. Give that a try. Let's see if that feels like it's opening up. We want a little bloom in the sound. Right. because I want to hear how it goes back and forth over their register changes. I get a sense there's more vibration, but I think, I think there's still some room yes. left. Can I have the upper joint? Do something a little different. Let's try this. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, maestro. <laughs> talking it actually opened up it allows me to play a little bit uh, more relaxed I don't have to force the sound the evenness between the notes is much better and the actual color of the sound is much more even you're ready for action we're ready 